there, Kent Cub Kids. Pastor Tarita here, and I am so excited that you are here with me. I have been thinking about something today. I have been thinking about my heart. Do you know where your heart is? Yes, it's right here. It's in the center of our bodies. Yeah, so the heart, it is super important because our beating heart, it's what keeps us alive. But sometimes, sometimes we talk about our hearts in a different way. Like we might say, my heart is just bursting with joy. Or we might be sad and we might say, oh, my heart, it's so broken. Now, when we talk about our heart like that, we're talking about how we feel and what we think and how we act. It's who we are. So like our physical heart, it's at the center doing important work, pumping blood throughout our bodies. Our heart also means it's at the center of how we live our lives. So it's the things that we want most and need, what we feel, what's important to us. Those are all things that they're, they're carried in our hearts. And what we carry in our hearts has a huge impact on the actions that we take and the choices that we make. So the inside of us, the center of us, directs the outside of us, the things that we do. This is why the heart, the inside, is important to Jesus. It's why Jesus said, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Jesus cares a lot about our hearts. To be pure in heart, it's to show love for God, neighbor, and yourself in how you act and speak and think. So when you have a pure heart, you do kind and helpful things because you love God and your neighbor. You aren't focused on how it makes you look or what kind of reward you might get. So for example, maybe you might share a treat that you have with someone else just because you know that it's their favorite. Or you might clean up your toys and your markers without anybody asking you to because you know that it makes the room a nice and safe place for everyone. So a pure heart on the inside, it helps us make outward choices that are based on love for God, for others, and for our world. So we'll show compassion and mercy and love because we know that that is what God created us to do. It's who he created us to be. So Jesus reminded us that when we have a pure heart, we can see God around us and in our world. But it's difficult to see God around us if we don't take some time to quiet ourselves and actually listen to our hearts. So I have a family challenge for you this week. I want you to take a moment or several moments together to pause. I want you to listen to the world around you, listen to your hearts, and then ask each other, where do you see God today? Okay, can you do that? Excellent. All right, before I go, I really wanna bless you. So a blessing, it's something that you receive. So I'd like you to open your hands like you're ready to receive a gift, like this, okay? Grownups and youth out there, this is for you too. So be ready to receive it. So I will speak a blessing. And if you receive it, I want you to take it and put that blessing in your heart. All right, here we go. May God bless you inside and out from your heart to your mind and your body. Amen. All right, friends, take that blessing. Okay. Until next time, I will see you later. Blessings, my friends. Bye.